this tour, Bloomington was really good because we got to play with our buddy Eric Ayad and uh, he put together a really nice show and a bunch of friends came out and that was really nice. And, uh, Portland was really good. Portland was really good. Seattle was really good. Seattle was really good. We did two shows in Seattle. Last night was good. Last night. Great place. It's a great place. Yeah, yeah last night was that good. was really good. Yeah. It's been good. It's nice that the really good ones are like spread out from each other. So it's like after one or two really bad ones, then there's a good one. You're like, thank God. And it just like keeps you going because you keep thinking like, oh, maybe it will be another really good one today. Yeah. And if it's not, maybe it will be another really good one tomorrow. But it seems like today is going to be really good. Today's going to be good. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow too. not but maybe with the next album after that because it would be nice to just like strip it down again but we're kind of building it bigger um we're kind of like that record was when there wasn't like a solid like rock band outfit you know what i mean like we had some members and some songs were rockier and then some songs were like really kind of like bare bones quiet songs like nervous rex and um, shine to it and stuff like that but uh I don't know. I think that we're getting bigger, like meteor songs, <laughs> which More is like good. The, but I definitely want to get back to just like just voice and guitar for um, the next record. I mean, this 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 next record is already written and it's all like kind of um, more like orchestrated songs. There's a lot of like string arrangements and like horn arrangements. Yeah. So it's gonna be it's gonna be like the first record, but like a little more, and the songs are gonna be like a little more like epic, rocky songs in a good way, hopefully. It's a hard question. It's always a hard question. I know. I never know what to say. It's really easy to describe somebody else's music, but yeah. it's hard to describe what you what you do. Yeah, I don't know. I would say. I always used to say folk, but it's not really folk. It was just folk because I was playing by myself and like writing songs. But um, I don't know. It's kind of like uh, I really like the Weaker Thans. It's kind of like bands that I like, I guess, mixed with things that I do. But it's weird though, because like it's not. There's never an intention to like have a song or something sound like something else. So it's just like. It just comes out sounding the way it does. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm in a band called Kudro with Jeff from Bond Music Industry and Dave, who does that website, if you make it, dot com. Mm -hmm. The Pink Couch. The Pink Couch Sessions, yeah. So those two guys and me do a band called Kudro. And Chris, our drummer, does a band, uh, like a solo kind of experimental music project called Arliss Parker, which is really good. Um, Peter, who plays guitar, does, an, uh, it's not really a solo project, it's but like, like singer -songwriter yeah, project. but with like a band built around. It's similar, I guess, yeah. similar idea to the Canvas, but like, it's called Archipelago, and it's really, it's good. really, really good. You can like, get really, it on quote unquote yeah. for free. You should definitely do that. And uh, Alex is in another band called The Escalators in Brooklyn. Um, kind of like this like big like crazy it's like a spectacle like 15 people on stage like not really knowing what they're doing <laughs> but it's never fun. heard of Zeppelin oh yes. yeah and he has a solo project he's a good songwriter yeah never heard of Zeppelin and he records all his own stuff yeah. everybody's got their own little pet projects except me this is it this is your this is your thing yeah I your name's in the band. Name. On the side too, so I can talk about it. You're so. also in the music industry. I am. So. That's true. I haven't played with them in a while though. You played on the newest record though. I did. Same. Didn't play any yeah, keys. Play. He's got so many. The thing is, Jeff is such a good songwriter and he's so prolific. He writes a new song like every five minutes, and they're always <laughs> really difficult and like the chords are crazy and like. Uh, I can't remember how to play any of them. I've played them all. I've sat with the songs before every tour, relearned everything, like made notes in a notebook. I always have a notebook on stage with me, just like with like everything written out. Cause everything's so difficult, and then you know I forget it all. <laughs> Generally, I mean, 
I haven't really been able to write because we've been on tour for like five months or something insane like that. Uh, but generally, it's when I'm alone and usually, I mean, number one emotion to generate any sort of creative energy from me is like depression. So, you know, when I'm lucky enough to be really depressed, maybe I'll write a good song. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Possibly. I like playing the banjo too. I find with the banjo though, every time I play it, it's like I'm relearning how to play it. Yeah. It's really like, good at the banjo. Well, I appreciate that. I get out of practice though, you know? And like, I really like playing the open chords. I don't like barring it, you know? And um, I think the open chords just sound really pretty. So I just have to like relearn. I can't remember F. C. I remember C. D minor I have in my head. G's just open, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're Cheetah like, Girls. What's Cheetah, Cheetah Girls? Cheetah Girls. It's a Disney Channel band. I think That's So Raven was in it. Was That So Raven in it? She was. She's getting away. That's cool. Actually, that's cool.